Still no new event, you guys. Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video. We have some amazing items, which I really love. Anyways, let's start off with the letter stuff, as you know as always. Thank you so much for the trampoline. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you deserve it? You do too. You should get yourself stuff too. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then we have unlocked, so congratulations for unlocking that headdress. Yay, you get a badge for unlocking it too in case there's anyone here who didn't happen to know that. It's been around a while, but just saying. And it costs like 4,000 one cheese, so it's called like the 4001 helmet. Well, I mean, that's not the official name, but people used to call it that long back. Either ways, congratulations, that takes a lot to unlock. And by the ways, if you guys didn't know, the X2 cheese slash XP event has ended today. So that happened when the new items came in. So it went on for two weeks. Hope whoever was able to, you're able to make good use of it. I'm glad I was there for two weeks. Else a lot of people wouldn't have been able to do anything about it because you know, it's like final season testing and all that stuff for a lot of us. So we're pretty busy doing all of that. <laughs> but yeah, so that event as it ended. But yeah, congratulations, you got it in time. So that's awesome. <laughs> so cute to eager and blue my favorite color I love this and this is my um what do you call this spring outfit <laughs> so that's what this one is it's the bunny ears it has like the flowers over here it has that hairstyle <laughs> cute and okay this is not going in order but this is the badge for the new fur you guys already know the new stuff that came out because I posted it yesterday on my youtube channel and that's nice I like the outline color it works really well with it so cute sitting and sipping on tea so as you can tell this is a porcelain teapot fur so that's so cute I love it because okay I love the combo of blue and white so that just totally mm, I yeah just love it I love it so these are your items so this is a, I wish they use a hand teapot which had matched this one kind of the hand version looks so much cuter like it'd be more useful in outfits personally but I love the ear item, which is amazing. It was it was made to go with this fur, as you can see, the flower, this thing, and then the leaves part is this. It was, it was meant for this fur. These went together. I love this ear item, like, the most out of all the things. I mean, okay, I like the fur, too, a lot, but the ear item you can use in a lot of more stuff, but I just love both of these so much. And this head item, this reminds me of a... um garden gnome or like a garden fairy kind of vibe it's a flower on the head so i think this whole overall theme is tea because you can you have like flower or the people use like flower petals and tea and stuff as well so that's why this is there but either ways super cute love them it's amazing <laughs> here is the other one that i was supposed to come after it but i guess it got in a mismatched order but this is my og outfit my og blue cloud uh, for outfit so cute i love the eyes and how you did this part over there so cute and you added a halo oh so cute to love it eager <laughs> and this is your fur of course i'm just showing a bigger version of it too but either way is so cute love it <laughs> it's like that thicker stout and then over here you just like pour it out i think i think that's what it's for anyways you know what just ignore me but this is so pretty love it <laughs> And then we have this new thing that's come in, which, I mean, okay, I guess it's fine. Like, I guess it's cool. I mean, we already have CFM where you can go and check, but I guess now people don't know how to go there to check. But anyways, you can now show off all your hard work in the new seasonal leaderboards. You can open them from the new button and see who are the top 10 mice in each of the base gameplay categories, as well as your own rank. Okay, that part's nice. At least it'll show you your own rank. I'm going to be at like the very bottom for most of it because I've been like AFK like the whole time studying and doing stuff for the most part. <laughs> what else is there to know? Leaderboards will be updated every hour. Okay, that's nice. It's going to be updated every hour. So CFM would take like a day or so or more. This one will be updated pretty soon after. So that's awesome. Each season will last three months. Okay, three months. All right. That's a decent chunk of time. And I wonder what will happen. Like, do people, they get anything? Do they get any prize for being at the top? Or is it just for show? The current season will be key for testing and resolving any bugs that may show up. So keep us, so help us by reporting in Bugs and Errors channel to keep things fair. People who had to, who had a ban for cheating in the past six months or who have an active permanent ban will be excluded from the leaderboards. Of course, makes sense. Oh, this might also induce a lot more hackers. But it might be easier to catch them, I mean, if you see them on the leaderboard, too. Hmm. 
you don't read more about the seasonal, seasonal leaderboards window in game, so hop on and get hoarding. And this is the colors for the fur, basically the baseline. There are different shades of these colors on there too, but this is your basic color colors of the fur. So you can use these if you want. Oh yeah, and I told you right for May 1st, it says you unlocked a medal. So you can get that like on May 1st when you got to Eliza is not showing up here, but Eliza was a bot that was over here. If you play against Eliza and you win, I think you only need to be you two in a room, but it needs to be a public room for it to count. Because I had less than, I had like three people in my room when I got the, when I, the game like first started up. There are four people by the time I ended the game though. But yeah. Um, okay, so that is it for that. <laughs> All right, boing, boing. <laughs> So this is your leaderboard thing, Hall of Cheese. You open this up, as you can see, I haven't done anything at all. So it's basically, is this showing there are only 268,000 players on this game? Is that what it means? I think it, I think there'll be a lot of people who have zero cheese as well, but they'll have party associated based on usernames. Hey, I'm, friend, I'm friends with like half of these people. <laughs> Not friend with like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight. I think they're, yeah, I think they're on my list. I'm friends with like eight of the people here, yeah. I mean, fast farming. Yeah, for the most part, I'm just fast farming. Well, nice. GG. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So you can see cheese. Oh, okay, gathered cheese. Over here, I'll show you cheese gathered first. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Definitely <laughs> not happening. Shaman, mice with cheese saved. Okay, all right. So you have that. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty similar to the cheese gathered because fast farmers, you know? <laughs> so you have about roughly the same thing for cheese and getting. Anyways, I wonder, did cheese count? Yeah, actually it would count. Like it counts on your profile. Even if you hit the limit of 60 cheese, 60 cheese maps in an hour, and you still get cheese back to the hole, it will not count in shop, but it will count on your profile. Like over here, it'll count on your profile, and I guess that means it would count on the leaderboard too, even though you don't get it in shop. So that's why I think fast farming will be the best way to get these things. Anyways, racing. Oh, okay, so I guess they probably got a lot of first in racing, but damn, that's a lot of racing. Such pros. <laughs> then boot camp. Again, look at all the pros up here. Oh, okay, queen, I do know them. Survivor. Yeah, I've never, I never really played Survivor. And Defilante. <laughs> ah, okay, hi there. Anyways, yeah, on my main, I'm probably not going to have much better stats anyways, because I'm going to be like zero and half of them, because I only went on to do like the quests for the most part, if I did get time. So that's what you have, and it tells you how many days you have left. 20 days. I think that's an error though, because it's supposed to be for three months, right? So three months is 90 days. So that is a bug <laughs> right there. But anyways, that's pretty cool. So that's nice. But at the same time, I personally wouldn't care much for it. I mean, because I know I'm not going to be on, you need to be on like 24 seven to play the game to actually get up there. Not 24 seven, but maybe close to it. So yeah, no time for that. So yeah, no point trying. <laughs> And let's look at the shop items. All right. So I had a quest by shop item quest, so I did that. So these are your cute, awesome items. Thief and Mint, you guys did an amazing job on the fur. The fur is amazing. <laughs> like seriously, I love these. This is like so elegant and so cute. And it has like a bigger aspect to it that you can actually see in game properly at the same time. This is just, a, it's a lovely fur. <laughs> Porcelain, oh my gosh, love it. Okay, I'm done gushing over it for now. Either ways, these two, mwah, chef's kiss, you guys. Anyways, as far as pricing goes, not too bad, I'd say. Okay, that that's that's tinier than I expected it to be. <laughs> we have the other, where is it, mouth? If you compare it to the other one, I mean, like, this looks, this obviously looks like really elegant compared to what we have here. <laughs> this is more of a cartoonish game, simple kind of thing, but it's bigger and you can properly see it. But I guess it makes sense. It's nice and elegant. It's dainty. I, can, I would say I would actually use this item because it's small enough for outfits. It wouldn't crowd it like a lot of the other mouth out items crowd the whole outfit. So I think that's actually really nice in terms of that. Although it is smaller than I expected. 
And then we have this cute hat, which I mean, totally just gives off those garden fairy kind of vibes. Like totally love that. And the prices are not bad. This is like the new pricing of all furs now. Kind of sad, but okay. All right. This is where we're at. <laughs> Either ways, we have this stuff going away in six more days. The sweet treat type stuff. This is already there. You know that. That's a prize from the bunny fur winning from that versus event. And then we have Alien Invasion as far as this theme goes. Loving the creativity of these outfits. So many unique items used. Nice outfits. I really love the colors on this one. I love the unique ways that the items were used on this one. Something good in both of them. And Gino made both of them. Awesome job. A lot of people are loving these outfits. And not much more to say about that. That is, they're just really nice. So either ways, in shop, last time I think this came out in shop like last Halloween, this was from the dark, this was the winning theme, theme of the dark category and dark versus light near like December time, I think, or end of November, not sure. But either ways, we have those and this has not come out in so long. So if you wanted to get it, go for it, grab it now if you can, while you can, because this, yeah, this item hasn't been used and it hasn't been on sale. It hasn't come out in other outfits, it's hard to use in outfits. I mean, come on, look at that. And I doubt it would be used in outfits again, unless there was a, a very specific theme that would let it, like this one. And then you have this mask, which is also really nice to use. The hair, I don't think I've seen it around that much. It hasn't been on sale, I'm pretty sure. And then we have this hand item, which has been around a few times, and I'm pretty sure it'll come out again from something. By the way, it has a lot of stuff. It's like all collectors, and it has a lot of stuff that hasn't come out. I would totally go for that one. This one as well has a lot of stuff, like this is a light fur from the Dark versus Light. This hasn't come out before, except for when it was in shop. This I think is, is this in shop? I think, yeah, I think this one's in shop actually. That's also in shop. This year item has been around here and there. So I mean, it'll, it'll come out again probably. This is also a collector item. Hasn't been used that recently, but I have seen it around a little bit. This fur, this hair has been used in other fashion, like, other fashion squad outfits and it was out like a decent time ago <laughs> but like honestly I know it's a really pretty hair I'm I guarantee this will be used again I'm waiting for the Corella Deville hair as well because these two hairs are most definitely going to be used in fashion squad outfits because they're really nice hair is really easy to use so I mean honestly can go for that and this this has been out a few times but I mean I'm pretty sure with summertime sales like a water gun kind of thing I'm pretty sure this will be out again in sales that's my guess but yeah, I mean, for the most part, both outfits are really lovely. This one has more unique items which haven't come out recently or anything compared to this one. So I'll totally go for this one if I had to choose between them. Outfit wise, I'd probably wear this one more <laughs> than this. But there you have it. Some really lovely outfits. A lot of people are loving it along with the furs this time. Like, it's awesome. This is Western animation, I think. So they got the other first and now Molly first, so this is a Momo fur. Only nine hours left for this one. I've already shown it to you guys in the YouTube, the other community tab where I post all the images. So I post the sales over there. You have your Aladdin's Genie Lamp. You have this cute head bow. Out of all of these, I'd probably use this one the most. I really love this because um, one of my friends, uh, okay, anyways, I'm not gonna name names because I think there is some stuff going on. By the way, so one of my friends, I, they don't really play right now anymore, but they made, they colored this in such a way, like it was a pretty indigo, not indigo, it was a purplish blue, but not a deep purplish blue like indigo would be. It, it looked really beautiful, and ever since I've wanted these planks just because of that, but customizing it is kind of a pain, because you already know the pricing of customization, so yeah. But love it but this is honestly the best thing out of this whole sales and then you have this from last time permanent items so feel free to grab it whenever you get the time and i believe that is it i shall show you the customizations oh first of all i'm going to show you the different fur colors so as i showed you i already showed you those colors so this is like the deepest blue you can get and they'll go lighter and lighter this is your color codes over there so, I mean, I already showed you the base ones, but you can get different shades. Um, even for this yellow, I just took like the yellowish tab thing from there. It can get darker, you can get lighter. So you have lighter shades, darker shades, like however else, so many different shades of blue. I only put three basic colors. Like I clicked on that one, I think, 
no, I think I clicked somewhere. Yeah, I think I clicked on this one. And then I clicked this for that, and then I clicked over here for that. So it's like a middle ground of both. It's hard to exactly color code it because you have your base colors. You can use these for the colors of this one and like anywhere along this. So I'd go with this. That's like a middle ground of the darker and the lighter versions. <laughs> Cute nose. You have brown eyes, you have dark blue eyes, and you have this thing over here. Super, super cute fur overall, like really love it. <laughs> the details. I love how it's like dark and then it's like lighter inside as well. Overall, it's really nice and elegant. And that is Fufri's, uh dress room app. It's a dress room app. You can get it on your phones as well. Android, if you have an Android. There's an APK file version of it. You can get it as a standalone. You can like download it on your computer. They have Windows and Mac. They have like both versions of it, so that's nice. And there, he's always there to like make improvements and all that as needed. So that's really nice too. But anyways, let's go on reset. Reset that ugly outfit that I have on. <laughs> Cause I have no other items on there. Customize, okay. Yes, decent amount of customizations. Yes, good. This makes sense. I like it, not too bad, okay. One for each petal. All right, that's fine by me. Let's go with some, I don't know, that. Do we have this petal? And then they have, see, they should do it in order. Like this should be first. The red one should have been, over here should have been this item. Then it should have been the blue, The this item should have been over here, which would be this. And then this should have been last. Like keep in order. This is going here, 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 here. It's going all over the place. I find that really weird when they do that. I don't know why they still do it, but yeah <laughs> but you know personal preferences everyone has something different so those are your petals really nice i like that it's a decent amount of customizations not too overdone and we can equip this this cute little ear item uh, let's see oh gosh okay this one has quite a bit okay this one's like the inner little center of the flower this will be the whole Ooh, i like that's gradient it's darker here and lighter on the outside yes that's what they should do you can't really tell. Okay. Huh. So this thing. Ooh, that is lovely. I'm loving that so much. I totally want this 100% more because of these customizations. <laughs> like, you can look at. <laughs> that is really nice. You can have a really nice tint to it. I like the different parts that they kept for this being purple. I love that a lot, actually. It adds a really nice depth to this item I, I i love it like okay let's see if we had let's say we had freely bright and it also doesn't make it too bright it like dulls it down if i did that that would make it really bright what did, i wanted to try and see if yeah if we did this see you have your yellow you have your red you have a little bit of orange as well so that's nice and see in this case even though i did really yellow it doesn't look too yellow because the red is dulling it down a bit Okay, they made this to a separate color. Okay, that works, honestly. Not bad. Okay, let's just make it really bright. Cause Actually, no, I can't do that to this item. I love this shade of green, too. That is really cool. Okay, they have a different color for this stem, which is nice. And then they have a different color for this. Okay, overall, yeah, those are nice customization sets. Honestly, I like it. So I really like it. I love it for the flower. That is amazing. I love this ear item so much. I'm totally 100% getting it. You guys should totally get it. I love this customization, totally customizing it when I can, but oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this ear item now. And then we have our mouth item, which is this really tiny cute teapot. You have your handle, you have your stem and leaves. <laughs> okay, we'll just, you know what? Ooh, actually, wait, I, do you know what we can do? This. And then this is, oh, they have something for the dots. Okay, that's like unnecessary, but okay. <laughs> and then you have the flowers. Then you have this for the whole pot, which is what I was trying to do this for. And then you have those outlines. <laughs> so it may like, you can totally just make it a black and white thing. Or, you know, like a gray. And I think this was a flower. Oh, never mind. It's those weird dot things. No idea why that exists, but okay. Mm, was this a flower? Yes, that was a flower thing. Oh, this looks more greenish. That's weird. 
anyway, so that's, and then you have your, those, this color we need to totally change to a different color. Totally different color, okay, there we go. So yeah, you have a bunch of different options. <laughs> White kettle, oh, you can have a lot of fun with all this stuff, that's nice. It's like a decent, it's not too bad. I mean, the three dots was a bit of an over overkill on this one, but apart from that, it's really nice. And then we've already seen the fur. You can totally match up the colors to match the fur. I mean, you can totally do that. It would totally fit in. But, oh gosh, it looks really weird with all these other items on. Take off, take off. That one I could color it properly. But yeah, loving it. I love these items. I love it all, honestly. And I think that's it for this video, you guys. That was a lot of stuff. I think I just was really obsessing over the customizations, honestly, in this one. But I think that's it. We saw this stuff, we saw that. And yeah, have an amazing day, you guys. Let's just keep waiting for an event, I guess. I guess, I mean, hopefully they'll just do the hugging events next, you know, it's about time to do that. I always hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, you guys. Kiddush out, as always. Peace.